Hello people and welcome to another Judge Eyes uh, discussion video, I guess you can call it. Now there is one question that I think a lot of us are asking about this upcoming, uh, well Yakuza spin-off I guess you can call it. And that question is, are we gonna see um, Yakuza characters coming back, you know like Majima, uh, Akiyama, uh, Saijima, whoever else, and you know this question has been kind of looming over us uh, in the past few weeks, ever since after the, the announcement of this game. But thanks to this interview uh, with the producer of Project Judge, um, we now have the answer to that. And I'm going to be leaving the link to the article in the description below, so you know, check that out because it also covers um, a lot of, well, not a lot of, but different questions. Like aside from, you know, whether are we going to see returning characters in this game like it covers um, for example over here we have uh, a question that says how much content is in the game to which the producer says that this game actually has about as much content as with the August Zero so you know that's something to look forward to but to answer the question that we all came here for are we gonna see you know characters coming back now the producer said and I quote um, the game is set in modern day, this isn't a different Kamurocho than Yakuza's, nor it is a parallel world. Which means that people like Goro Majima are probably living somewhere within the town. However, as these two games are completely different games, if you were to ask right now whether any major Yakuza characters will appear in the story, I can firmly deny that none of them will. We believe that the type of drama in Yakuza is completely different than that of Project Judges. In order to pres uh, preserve the worldview for Project Judge, we chose not to make any Yakuza characters major players in the story. But if Project Judge becomes a series, uh, then in the future there may be a chance for some crossover. Still, players will hear some keywords that appear in the Yakuza series, such as uh, the Tojo Clan, which is related to the main story of the game. Also, a certain mascot from Yakuza 6 will make, will make an appearance. And we all know who that mascot is. Uh, if you saw the uh, the Project Judge tra uh, trailer, you're gonna see that fucking <laughs> Onomichi of all people is running right past uh, Yagami. Now, what do I think about this? I honestly think that this is a step in the right direction for a spin-off because this game is supposed to be something completely different from Yakuza. But at the same time, you know, it's set in the same world. So it's it's in a sense it's like Kurio, but I really appreciate that, you know, they're trying to exclude characters that we're familiar uh, with because it gives them more chances to focus on the new characters, you know, to explore, you know, uh, their pasts more maybe, their personalities, uh, what their appearances are about and all that. So I think that the fact that they're trying to, you know, not have all these famous characters that we really love show up is a really good thing. And also one interesting thing in the article is a question that says, since this is a game about a lawyer, will there be any courtroom segments? And the producer said, yes, there will be courtroom segments. As a defense lawyer, players will need to argue for people's innocence against the prosecutor. You will need to present evidence to fight back against the prosecutor's arguments. Now, I don't think I'm the only person to think of Phoenix Wright when I hear something like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying uh, fucking Project Eyes is like the ace attorney of the Yakuza series, just like Yakuza is the GTA of the fucking you know, GTA Japan or whatever, nah, but it simply reminds me of Ace Attorney in uh, in that aspect. If we're gonna be presenting evidence, we're gonna have courtroom segments, like actual, you know, arguments with the prosecutor and all that, then yeah, that would remind me of Ace Attorney, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. But other than that, like I said, having, you know, all the focus on these new characters is gonna it's gonna really serve to uh, show us Kamurocho uh, in a different light. Just like with Kurio. To me, with Kurio, Kamurocho felt like a place like 10 times harsher than, you know, in the main in the main series. Like, when you play as Kiryu, you kind of have that, you know, legend protection. You're playing as the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. You know that 
you, you have some degree of safety with the character because you know everyone's afraid of Kazuma and you just know that he's gonna come out on top whenever you know a dilemma uh, shows up uh, for him but on the other hand when you have someone that is completely new like Yagami we have no idea how things are gonna go we have no idea how he interacts with people how people treat him and you know what kind of situations is he gonna run into and I think that's like one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to in Project Judge. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think that it's a good thing that characters are not coming back or do you think it's a bad thing? Why do you, why do you think so? Also, special thanks to Honey Atir patrons, Miyuron and Kiryu Kazuma. Thank you two so much for really helping me out and I really appreciate your constant uh, patronage. And also, before I end the video, I wanted to direct your attention to this goal that I came up with on my Patreon. If we have enough people to support this cause or whatever you want to call it uh, we're gonna be doing like monthly commissions which is basically um, of uh, Yakuza characters now this is just more like a fun little activity uh, which you know every one of us is gonna benefit from and every tier is gonna get the full resolution picture even the $1 tier one. So if you're thinking of helping out, even $1 is going to help us out greatly in the long run. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, that's it for this video. Peace.